mutongeria wa kiama kia waipa kalonzo musio kaugiete gutena getumi kia rais kwa dhidi o garuruku kire a minister bawe akiuga ba utebo dhina akia riari meru na arwa kalonzo ugiete dhina yonde ere kiri rais ruto wewe ngwa na burea batere kudhidi ya ne kuiruta getene ki wewe ngwa na we urewari ngaba na wambere wa kaunte ya meru pita katira umunya ugiete ntuku ya narwa ya sabasaba neba kuririkana na gote ya barabonde batere utoro kire kuru irandi guru kinyakere barea baratere utoro bontu kuinka indhiru bakianda mana koregana na finance bill 2024. Akiari akire njonge wende ne kaunte ya meru mutongere wa waipa kalonzo musio kane achokerete nkado dhuke embeze baraba kumenye kana ata jenzi ni kutetera Kenya. But the jenzi's congratulations they have come up now with a country that we can say is getting detrabalized. Because if you want to annoy the Gen Cs, you, you, you talk to them about your, your tribe. <laughs> so this is a big achievement, and, and the days of transparency are ahead of us. But before that happens, um, there's a lot of work to do. And we have come to Meru to tell our brothers and sisters that the struggle continues, a luta continua. No ngere teka mitirea evi vetuwe goteka marando za Kenya eki yuta tena wadho na kuongera ugaruru kukere a minister bawe kutete edhia kinyani ini ni Rais Ruto uinadhina. Task force to look at the debt situation in the country is unconstitutional. And we know that those who have been asked to serve in that task force will have taken note. The office of the Auditor General is the constitutional office mandated to be able to deal with this matter. Again, as Peter Mwenya said, cosmetic changes will not do. Uh, when uh, the youth engaged uh, uh, Ruto on the ex -pace, he undertook to do several things, maybe even to reshuffle his cabinet. Kenyans are saying, whether you reshuffle your cabinet or not, the problem is not the new or the old cabinet of William Ruto. It is Ruto himself. This is what the youth are telling you. This is where the way forward is to have IBC in place. We repeat, then call for a snap election and what happened in the UK the other day will surely happen in Kenya. Complete wiping out of a corrupt regime. Na wea urea waare ingaba na wambere pita katirao, munya ana ugete ntukweze ya sabasaba ne akuririka na bare ya baru erere ugaruru kubwa utongeri ya Kenya na kinyabange kwa mukira angurari o muanya muanya. Aki ongira no muanka utongeri ya buwa Kenya guito mekere uritingu ge. Ni siku ya muhimu sana katika taifa la Kenya ambayo ina ni ya makumbusho ya sacrifice sile taifa la Kenya na viongozi wa, wa Kenya wa zamani walifanya ndio tufike pale tumefika leo na kwa hivyo tuna wakumbuka hawa wale wengine walikufa wengine wakakuwa maimed wengine wakapata majeraha ya kundumu wakipigania mabadiliko Kenya na wame akikisha hii serikali iko iwanjibike demand ya eh, jensi ni uwanjibikaji wa serikali sababu serikali inasimamia watu na fedha za watu kwa hivyo watu wanasema lazima iwanjibike they want an accountable government not a government that leaves lunch when the citizens are suffering not a government that spends money anyhow and accountably and continues taxing people not a government that does not care about business people and doesn't care about uh, the youth not a government that wants the young people to defer their dreams even as they enrich themselves and the pocket the resources that are there Akiri ikiri iri aru ari aru wao na ndiki bante to yujin wa malwa no ngere teka jukawe kiri utongere iri abuwa Kenya. Ruto 
should sign the uh, assent to the IBC bill so that we reconstitute IBC and prepare for a fresh election where this parliament should seek fresh mandate. And uh, Ruto must realize that he and his government no longer enjoys the confidence of the people of the Republic of Kenya. So on this Saba Saba day, we want to urge our agencies and all those who believe in this cause that uh, the mission is not done until Zakayo Ashuki.